Hey, it's Kendra and welcome back to my channel. Today I sound extremely sick because I kind of am and I'm not feeling the greatest so just bear with my voice. I'm sure you guys are used to my sick voice by now because I'm always sick. So, you know, we're just gonna roll with it. I am pretty excited right now. I just found out I got accepted into a study abroad program in Spain um, for the summer. So, I'm really excited and I'm waiting to hear back from a program in London. So, I'm just gonna be like deciding between the two. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry about all my notifications. <laughs> but, you know, my, my family and everyone is super excited. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about the importance of de-stressing and kind of how I do that through yoga. Um, yoga is such a great activity to do um, for de-stressing. It's really good for your body, great for staying in shape, and it's just super relaxing and it's one of my favorite activities to stay in shape. Um, and I've been doing it a lot lately, especially in college, because there is a club at my school that you just pay $5 and for the whole quarter it's like free yoga. I mean, you pay $5, but like multiple classes a week. So I have been absolutely loving um, doing yoga and especially because I'm a very like stressed person, I have a lot of anxiety, so using yoga to kind of de-stress is super important um, because stress is not good for your body and it is one of the most leading causes of like insomnia and sleeping problems and stress is just not good. So it's really important to de-stress. So today I'm just going to be talking about how I de-stress and how I use yoga to do that and just all of that good stuff. Uh, before we get into the video, you guys know the drill. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel down below if you are not already. But without further ado, let's just get right into it. So about yoga, how I use it to de-stress, um, it is actually really good for your mind and not only your body, but it helps your mind get into a different place and kind of a different mindset. And like not only while you're in yoga, but after time, it's proven that it makes you feel better generally and it really does like change your mindset a little bit and not a little bit, like a lot. And it will make you feel better over time. Um, so it's kind of something that's great because it makes you feel great while you're doing it. And then over time, you'll just keep feeling better and better, which is awesome. So it's also what good to your mind, not only your body. Yoga is also great to teach you kind of how to breathe to relax. So a lot of yoga is focusing on how you're breathing, paying attention to how quickly you're breathing, how slowly, and just kind of how your breath is generally. And I know like when I first did yoga, I was like, oh my gosh, it doesn't matter like how I'm breathing, whatever. But when you actually consciously think about it, you start to realize like how you're breathing and kind of you recognize like the different types of breaths. Like when you're stressed, you're like breathing more quickly and everything. If you just take slow, deep breaths while you're stressed, it really does help. And yoga really teaches you kind of how to do this well. Um, I know when I'm having kind of like a fit of anxiety or like an anxiety attack, the best thing to do is just pay attention to your breath and kind of hold it in, just like take a deep breath, hold it in and let it out slowly. Um, this really, really is truly helpful and yoga is awesome for teaching you how to use breath to de-stress. And there are certain poses in yoga that really help you to de-stress, so like child's pose is awesome. Um, I'm sure you have seen child's pose, if not, I'll like insert a picture. So some other just random things to uh, de-stress. Laughter actually is the best medicine. Laughter lowers the levels of cortisol and adrenaline in your body, which is really like, it causes a lot of stress having high levels of those chemicals in your body. So laughter just kind of helps to like get all of those chemicals out and kind of like raise your endorphins level, which makes you happy. So laughter is one of the biggest and probably one of the number one thing I suggest for de-stressing because, I don't know, when I like find myself just sitting alone in my room and like kind of stressing out about something, what I like to do is just go hang out with friends and laugh. Honestly, it makes me feel so much better and it really is the best medicine for stress and when you're sad and everything. I know it can be hard like thinking about like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go laugh when I'm like super stressed out, but trust me, if you just go out of your room, get out of your head and just go laugh with friends, you will feel so much better in the end and it really truly is proven to make you feel better. So that is also one a great thing to do. And also while I'm feeling stressed, I like to just read a book sit down, focus on something else for a little while, um, and just get your mind off of what you're stressing about. Um, this can be really helpful uh, if you're, you can't stop thinking about something, which is one of my big problems. Like once I'm stressed, I just keep thinking about something and internalizing it and freaking more and more out. So it really, really helps to just kind of read a book and not even like think about what you're stressing about. It just gets your mind off of it 
and then afterwards you can just kind of like come back to it and realize okay maybe it's not so bad I can deal with this you can also take a nice long relaxing bath get a lush bath bomb or like your favorite bubble bath and just relax and just like turn out all lights and just sit there have some candles going and just relax in some warm water and it really helps just to again take your mind off of things and just focus on something else and just really relax your body uh, which is super important and you can also do something as simple as like watching a movie or watching some TV um, this is just super helpful to again to get your mind off of something um, you know it just kind of depends like if you want to read a book or watch TV kind of the same concept here or just sit down watch your favorite show on Netflix just binge watch some show binge watch some shows binge watch some shows like your favorite show and it really just kind of comforts you like my kind of like guilty pleasure show is like Full House I don't know I used to love watching that show when I was younger and so now when I watch it it just like reminds me of home so I watch Full House and I'm like freaked out like yeah I don't know it's just it's just my like home show I don't know and also like Gilmore Girls there's just some really like great heartfelt TV shows on Netflix that you can watch or you can watch like some action shows and just like get completely out of your mind and just focus on something else Alright, well those are the ideas I have and that I use to de-stress and how especially yoga helps for de-stressing. I can't like tell you guys enough how important it is to sit down and like consciously de-stress your body and your mind because it's not good living with a ton of stress in your life. It's just not healthy, you will be super lethargic and just really not generally feeling that great. So if you de-stress, your body will thank you and so will your mind and you'll be able to tackle anything that you want and you won't feel so anxious and worried all the time. So yeah, these are just things that I use because I am a very stressed out person, an anxious person, so these things really help to kind of get me out of my head and just focus on other things. Okay, so I think that's all I really have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below how you de-stress and if you like yoga. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye! My big giant turtleneck sweater is from H&M and I'm